the hostile ones. So we attacked um, the one at the food station in the last video and, and this one which is in front of us, this house. And so the issue is, while I've been study waiting and just retitling my video, I thought I saw somebody run over there. Before I do that I wanted to finish what I was looking at. I was going to go and have a look at this van. It says that there are two people in that other place. with me. I seem to remember the quite a little here. here. Toolkit needed. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave that fuel because I don't need it and it'll come in handy if I do yep we are back That's almost as much as I can carry. Hmm? Oh, she's full. I've got your back. Right. Crap. No more of those left. I don't think there's any room. What we can do is take that, keep this tarted up, because if we don't, we're going to lose it. And I've already lost this thing once. It didn't have a flip on it before when I went back. It said uh, flip the van because it was on its roof. And there wasn't a flip there before, I'm pretty sure of it. So we've got a few bits in there now. We could, even if we're not going to find the base that I thought we was going to find. Rare skills trader. That's one of your Clarington houses, your starting house. You only need one to go in there, of course. Now I thought the other base We've got one, two, three outposts. 
correct? I think those plague zombies are giving me something really nasty. One of them flashed on! Better give it one more hit. Pick up two more things so how's that done? We'll go and see this that should totally be an outpost. Two beds it would give us. to get close. God. See, so something like that, as simple as that, can easily go downhill. Plus, there's a, a big guy there, look. He stood there watching us. <laughs> he could have come over, and that would have been the end of it, wouldn't it? That's how quickly you can go to cra crap in a handbasket. I was going to say shit, but you can't say a shit. You can go to shit. Looking for the big guy. Oh. I've now not got a weapon. Must have used that. I've not got a weapon. She's good now. She's better than me then. Hey there. Hey there. Wow. Outsider. You have anything you want to trade? No, oh, that sounds about right. You have anything you want to trade? Sounds like a plan. Scrum teaches one new survivor. It's 1,500 for that book. All they can about Scrum certification. Scrum certification allows the survivor to provide additional two labor for the community as well as a huge speed bonus speed bonus boost to the facility actions at the base utilities textbook and computers textbook i think i might just try that Boom. now where am i going to put that i don't know let's sell him something let's sell him that 
Then we can buy that. People are getting a bit peckish. We could use more food around here. Food is essential for survival. And I'm not just talking about cans or MREs. A kitchen and a good cook are critical for morale. Red Talon used to run food shipments to refugees. How can they be bad? How about we see what we've got? Sounds like a plan. I thought I had a luxury item on me. I can't breathe. Maybe I should slow down. Check out who's over there. Okay, let's see what you've got. Yeah, that sounds about right. Be clear. You keep going so fast. One more base, maybe. Considering we've got that one down there, which is only that road away, and that one there, which is only that road away, we could maybe take up a base here, which gives us food. So that one. Although I did think I was moving into... some base around here. We'll move to that one, I suppose. That's the last one on the map there, which we haven't lived at properly. Rural police station. can take five we have nine and it costs a thousand this one costs three and a half thousand so we'll still have enough to go and live at both of them I'm wondering if it's that one actually let's go round here kill that and then on to that.
the verge of getting really sick. survivors I've been there a few times Coming in a nice straight line anyway to be killed. I like your move. He's killing me. Thank you. Out of all that fighting though, we only got one plague out sample. <laughs> Wouldn't hurt to search around for supplies. <laughs> It's a nice weapon, is this? Well, they definitely know I'm here now. Oh, I've played this place before. She needs a medical attention pretty quick, really. I'm just going quickly have a look at them. Sorry about that. See, I would have stopped and killed them, only that she's quite near a plague thing. And uh, three in a row, you can't really. Kalinqua. That's the name of my camp is Kalinqua. I haven't actually been down to the lakeside yet once. Good to see you, Vato. <laughs> Sorry, can't carry that. Hey there, stranger. Come on in. Always glad to see you. Mm. Well, the thing I wanted to just look at this is that it wasn't the, ca the castle place that I thought it was. What do you think? I'm sure I've been in here before as well. Sorry, can't carry that. Right. Shoot. I'll be right behind you.
just nip on fast and then get this gal medics up before I need to use a vial. There is quite a group gathering over here. Nice weapons. I better take a break. I need it. Well, we're both need to break. We're both to save a break, really. I just don't understand why there's so many zombies and where they're coming from. You'd understand that they could be pouring out of a city where there's millions of people. Say, there's a big city somewhere nearby and it's got six million people in it. That's different, so you've got to kill six million zombies and the next playthrough you've got to kill ten million zombies. And then the next playthrough you'd have to kill twenty million zombies. I just saw a plague zombie. I think that would be more realistic. Have gotten really bad for us. Can you come over? food. Hmm, shouldn't have worried about her. She's got a big sword on her, big knife. Shambling toward base. Shouldn't be a problem, though. I'm starting to feel terrible. Better be careful. I know that's a lot of Z's, but we can do this. We need more days like these. Yeah. 
Mission accomplished. Yes. That siege underway. We cannot give up. What's going on? Hey, how about you stay clear of plague zombies? We don't need you getting sick. Just threw me out and put me in a different place. I was out and about for a bit, so I brought back a few things. Right. You're alive! Yay for you! I'll go with you. We don't have much ammunition left. I can't keep this up. Look at him, just chop his head yes. off. Take care now. I'm proud of us. We're not just a team, we're a family. Day 20, there's the sign, which is this video, we are on day 20, but it, it seems like it's about tea time now. Where are you going? Something bad is going to some all this noise. I just know it. And we need some bullets creating. Something must be wrong because I actually like it here. Now where am I going to put that? Now where am I going to put that? We move to bottom. Right, we're gonna have to bring some more bullets in now. It's about time she had a rest anyway, so let's take her in here first. Now where am I gonna put that? Wouldn't let me open the supply locker. That's that book, Scrum, which cost me one and a half grand. Now, if we can get everybody ready. I don't think I have enough. Oh, we do have enough fire covers. 
She's got three firecrackers. Three painkillers. Oh, snacks. Oh, she needs coffees on her. Two coffees. Three food. Plus, we're going to take... Some bullets. 21 in the gun. And then we're going to take the gun off her actually. And we're going to find somebody else to switch to. Soon, I might start getting mean. It's your turn to call the sh Are you reading me, hon? That's not done too bad. Hello there. I need a hand. Yours will do. Of course, I'll go with you. <gasps> After you. Wow, she had 15 rounds on her all the time. So she's just about geared up to go out anyway. Plenty of uh, weapon rounds. Got three firecrackers. Two coffees on her. We'll take a can of fuel. She's got four meds. Two sandwiches. Y'all got a death wish, or can we tighten up the security around here? I knew this old cop, Chief Jackson. He could help us if he's still alive. I could try to find him. I like that idea. And she's had all these supplies on her all this time, and I put them in the. Um, placeholder there. That in. Take that one out. Three coffees, pills, crackers. She's got six crackers on her, so she's going to be the main gal. See y'all later. Uh, hopefully. Help these guys kill that. Time to call our neighbors and see if they know where we should look for goodies. I'll find someone in the network to handle that. We're low on supplies. Can we ask around for a good place to ransack? We could will handle fast. the situation for you. I'm a fan of the network to live and let live kind of style. Should 
Should be back to base soon. Fingers crossed. Meds, he's food to need, that's all. What's in the boot of the car? Another 10 minutes on this and then we'll be to the night shift. So, just to update for people who don't know about State of Decay 2, a day in State of Decay 2 in real time is about 90 minutes long. From midnight to midnight. And then, um, Remember, we it's their trust sometimes difficult somehow. to assess because... We're not stuck, I don't think we're stuck. However... Never actually tried this, let's try it. How can we just stand around and let this happen to us? I don't know what I did to deserve this kind of treatment. should now put us somewhere in the truck somewhere else. Just not far. Okay. Oh, hello. Shit, we gotta find some food. We're starving here. Thank you, like, really. Construction. Did you look in this desk? I'll feel bad about that when I have time later. No room. <laughs> No room. Oh no, we're coming there.
I'm a little full at the moment. I think we can just nip back home, temporarily. Points. Look for the Zeds, asshole! Where can you put the... What is RB for artillery strike, is it? And although they say in here we've got uh, reasonable safety, we really, really don't because unless you can stand up on something, things can walk in and get you. Right, we're going to go over to the uh, night shift. So thank you very much for watching. I will catch you in the later in the next um, episode. And uh, so please look in the description. Um, be kind if you're going to give us a comment and uh, you know tell us about your hopes and aspirations for this game what you'd like to see the developers put in it because I'm sure there's some really good ideas out there I think I have some good ideas as well so if you read the description you'll find that there is uh, often a, a thing in there where I'm talking about you know things I'd like to see in the game and what I think they could do that's quite a nice touch we should have to build that fire though you know Unless we've got electric already, and we have water, so... And, uh... Basically... You know... Give us, um... You know, your ideas for the game, and, you know, what you'd like to see in it. Anyway... I will catch you in the next episode. So, I'll see you then.